August 25th, 2007. We finally succeeded in teaching Ping Pong, the project's chimpanzee, American Sign Language, at a level never before seen. Coco, Ping Pong's rival, had a vocabulary of a thousand words, but we've taught Ping Pong a vocabulary of three thousand words. That's nearly sixty percent of your average human's vo- Hold on. Ping, Ping Pong, you need to put that microscope- Son of- That was a two thousand dollar microscope, Ping Pong. No, Ping Pong, I do not think that the microscope was suicidal. No, I don't believe that chimpanzees can talk to inanimate objects. Of course I can't prove that you didn't talk to the micros- I- Just be more careful next time. Anyway, I think that this will be the beginning of an amazing breakthrough in human simian conversation. August 26, 2007 Despite certain- Philosophical differences, me and Ping Pong have continued to work together, expanding his vocabulary by about two dozen words, and improving his sentence structure and comprehension. He can't read, obviously, which is why I can't be too mad about the Cheetos that have my name written on them, even though I specifically pointed them out to Ping Pong, and explained that I didn't want him eating them. No, Ping Pong, it wasn't Dr. Stevens. Dr. Stevens didn't have orange cheese all around her face and a bag in her cage. <laughs> What do you mean you'd hit that? You know, Ping Pong, I don't even know what she's got hail damage means, but I'm sure that she doesn't have it. August 27th, 2007. Apparently, someone has been telling Dr. Stevens that I've been saying she's hurting for a little vitamin me. And so now I have to watch a series of videos about sexual harassment in the laboratory. <laughs> Ping Pong is just upset I won't put his name as head researcher on the journal piece about this experiment. Maybe if he was spending 90 hours a week working, instead of just laying in his cage and masturbating, he- <laughs> No, Ping Pong, you're not just cleaning it. It doesn't get dirty whenever Dr. Stevens bends over to turn on the backup generator. <laughs> August 28th, 2007. Well, I've been taken off the experiment, and good riddance. As much as I'm excited to have been on the cutting edge of human asshole relations, I think I'll survive. When I brought Ping Pong in front of the research grant committee, he was unwilling to answer simple questions, and instead spent most of his time scratching his crotch. When he did speak, all he was willing to do was show how many swear words he knew, including one that required just one finger to sign. He then proceeded to produce and fling poo at a rate so fantastic that if I had not been dodging airborne feces, I might have been a little impressed. It wasn't my proudest moment, strangling a chimpanzee in front of a crowd of my fellows, but a man can only take so much. I can't blame Dr. Stevens too much for shooting me with that tranquilizer dart. The last thing I remember before I went unconscious was Ping Pong kicking me in the groin. So I'll be here for two years on an animal cruelty charge. Less with good behavior. I think I'm done with science. When I get out, I'm going into a brand new field. Taxidermy. <laughs>